In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to design a coloring book in Canva and you can sell them anywhere online. You can take single pages and sell on places like Etsy. You can take the whole book and sell in places like Amazon KDP and you can customize these books however you want them to be. So I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do it in Canva. I'll encourage you to watch this video to the end because I'm going to be showing you some tricks how to make your books stand out. So if you don't know anything about Canva or Kindle publishing, I'll encourage you to watch this video on the screen which I already made and you'll be able to learn how to create dimensions you'll be able to learn trim size and you'll be able to learn many other things but in this particular video I'm just going to show you how to design a coloring book if you don't yet have Canva I'll encourage you to go down to the description box below and create an account if you have Canva then you will just sign in so you go to canva.com and when you are here on Canva so let's go to custom size and change this to inches and let's say our book is going to be 8.5 by 11 then you create so this is a template for our book this is a size so I want you to come to element and then take a shape just create like a border so that when you are designing, let you not go outside. There is a dimension. So you can check the previous video that I already made. Create a border like this. And then you can come here and take border. You can increase the size of the border if you want. Let me leave it at 5. And then you come here. You remove the color so that you have a shape like this. Now, go to element and type coloring pages. And then you search. It's going to bring different type of coloring pages. So go to see all. So if you come here, assume you want to do a dinosaur coloring book, you click on this dinosaur, right? It's going to show you magic recommendation here. And you will start seeing many different type of dinosaurs that you can use. So you can use all these dinosaurs. Then let's go back and let me show you something. If you go back, let's say you want to do this one, you click here, it shows you the magic recommendation and then it shows you different types. That is just so amazing. So let's go back and let's say that in this book, we want to do dinosaurs. So let's go back to our dinosaur. We take this dinosaur here. You can just open it and make sure it fits inside our template. And you can come to positioning and put in the middle so that it fits in the middle in the center so from here to create the next page you can just come here delete what is inside here and then go to magic recommendation and click on see all so you can take any of the dinosaurs that are here we can take this one you go to position and just center it you create another page see how easy it is then you can take this one so you just take as many as you want and you can make it up to 100 pages before you do this it's good to do some research and know how many pages you want to make see the other books that are in this niche and see how many pages that they make and see how you can make your own book unique why would somebody decide to buy your book instead of another book so you need to do something that will make your book stand out now so you see we've already created how many pages one two three four and my overcomers i'll encourage you to not sleep on all these ideas that i'm showing on this channel because these things will change your life i had no idea that people could make money so easily it's not easy from the beginning because you are learning there are other people in the market who have been doing this for long and you are entering like a new seller so as you are entering like a new seller, it's going to be a little bit tough for you because there will be many things that you will need to be learning. But the people who are old sellers today, they were once new sellers. They made that decision to start selling books or to start developing themselves and, keep, and start doing things like this. And now they are old sellers. And that's how it is. If you start and you start designing your books, you'll be surprised. Very soon you'll also be an old seller. So don't sleep on these ideas, my overcomers. Don't sleep on these ideas. So after you are done designing your coloring book, you will just come here to share. And then you come here to download. You make sure that you are downloading on 
PDF print. Right now we have 10 pages. So you can make it like up to 100 pages before you download. So you now come here and you download your book. So of our commas, look at our book that we just designed. It looks so beautiful. What is stopping us from doing this? So let's go back to Canva. Let me show you how you can make your book unique. If you want to go in details, you can actually do some research and find exactly the name of this dinosaur, right? And if you know the name, that's just an example. You can come down to text. You can add a text and put the name of this dinosaur here. And then include the names of the other dinosaurs and just include them there. That's one thing that you can do to make your book unique. Another way that you can make your book unique, since you are making this coloring book for children, right? You can even come here. It's just an example I'm showing you. You can make this dinosaur to be small, right? And then make another dinosaur here. You can just duplicate it and make it to be big. And now you can start showing children like big dinosaur, small dinosaur, right? So you can come here and put a text and even put color big dinosaur blue, color small dinosaur yellow. So you are teaching the kids skills. Another way you can make your book stand out is you can go to element and type coloring pages and it brings up all of this. You go to see all. So you can decide to take any of these backgrounds. Let's say we take this and it's here. You can open this up like this and then you go to position and you send it backward. Then you come here and you reduce the transparency. Look at that, guys. You reduce the transparency. So you can still see that the dinosaur is there, but there is that other background that makes your book stand out. So it looks a little bit different from all of this. You see how these ones are just empty pages, but this one looks so unique. Another thing that you can do to make your coloring book stand out Let's just create another page, right? You can come, for example, and type elephant. Now, you come and take an elephant. All of this will depend on the age of the child. You can come here and type grid letters, and then it will bring this section. You say see all. You see all these different, different letters. You can come here and take E for elephant. Then you will come here to text, and then take another text, and then put elephant here. You can put E for elephant and then just adjust it however you want it to be. So you can then fill this part up. For example, you can just drag it like this and stay until it fits. So you see how the E now looks. You can even put like cat and then put like C A T cat. Just different different ideas to make your book stand out and my overcomers i want to encourage you to go out there and start making coloring books and selling you can even design special unique coloring books for your children for their birthdays and print them on amazon so overcomers i'm sure that we have learned a lot from this video i'll encourage you to go out and start making coloring books i will really desire to see your creation if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe and join the family like the video if you like it and this will help me to know the kind of videos that you want me to keep making so i will see you in the next video bye bye I'm